In this tutorial, I'm going to do a short intro into expressions. I'm also going to start by trying to explain, as best as I can, uh, the sine function and also the use of radians. People always ask me if it's, do I need to know maths to use grasshopper? And the short answer is no, but it would help. So here is a sine curve. A sine curve starts at, okay, this is zero in the y direction. Sine curve, sine curve starts at zero, zero, at, uh, and finishes at zero, zero. So this is basically a range from, in degrees, zero to 360. We can see that here. 0 to 360, but in radians, we call that 0 to 2 pi, okay? So that means that pi is equal to 180 degrees. Oh, if it lets me... Yes, pi is 180 degrees, and then 90 degrees is 0 0.5 times pi, and 270 degrees is 1.5 times pi. So we're going to try and do this all in radians. We're going to start by grabbing an expression parameter. And so for the expression parameter, we're going to type in a simple sine function, which is a for amplitude times sine of t where t is the parameter value, and we're going to click OK to accept that. We're also going to change our inputs from x to a, and y will become t. So we're just going to grab a simple slider for our a value, and we'll make that to 10, a max of 10 units. And for our t value, we're going to grab a range function. And we are going to set this range from 0 to 2 pi. In order to do that, we have a pi component. And we're also going to use a multiplier. So I'm going to set this to max value 10 as well. And I'll set it to 2 for now. Okay, and then we also, as usual with a range component, we need a step. So we're going to set a max of 128 just so that we can get a nice fine curve. Oh, and that also needs to be an integer slider. So we'll set it to 4 for default. And I'm just going to quickly turn off my previous result over here. Okay, so what this now gives us is a list of values which correspond to these values of pi. Okay, and so these are our amplitude values. So we're going to now construct a point. Uh, the range values or because they'll have an equal half pi increment, they're going to be along our x-axis. And our amplitude values are going to go on the y-axis. So this is just a basic graphing function. And then we're going to grab an interpolate curve component so that we can turn this into a nice sine curve. As you can see, we have control over the amplitude and we also have control over the, um, I guess, the domain of focus. But in order to better see that, we might bump this up to 128. And I'll keep the points on. So now you can see as I, as I lower this number, if we lower it to 1, 1 times pi, we would get 180 degrees of the sine curve, or 
half of the full range of the sine curve. If we were to increase this to 4, which is the same as 2, two times 2 times pi, we would get two sine curves. What we can also add into this function is an offset. So we'll go t plus, um, call it x for now. And so we'll add an x parameter. And this will also need to be a multiple of pi. So I'm going to set it to a max value of 2. And we'll set this back to 2 pi. And then when we plug this x value in, you should see we, be, we will be able to make this curve bubble. So basically we're shifting the phase of this curve any, or any amount of degrees. So if we were to shift it 0.5, that would be shifting it 0.5 times pi units, which is the same as 90 degrees, as you can see here, 90 degrees. If we were to shift it 1 times pi units, that's the same as shifting it 180 degrees. 1.5 is 270 degrees, and 2 is 360 degrees. So 2 pi units, which basically brings us full circle. Now, uh, what else could we do with this? We could, if we wanted to, we could uh, stretch this range out a little bit. Um, so I'll add another, um, we'll add a period into this equation. So we'll add W for period. And so W is going to be another kind of phase control. And we'll set this 0 to 2 will be fine. So if we set this to 0 0.5, this will only give us half of the sine curve within a 0 to 2 pi range. At 1, we get the full sine curve, and at 2, we'll get two sine curves. And so uh, we could then take this, let's say, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll switch this around. So we'll change, uh, we won't make the y value our, our um, amplitude will make the z value our amplitude, and then we'll go into perspective mode. And I'll just uh, middle click and press this button to zoom to our uh, geometry preview. Turn the points off so we can see that nice sine curve. And then we'll make a copy of all of this. And then maybe we'll, uh, we'll set that to 1, and we'll just give this an offset in the y direction. 100 might have been a bit much. Yeah, we'll just put it there. And so now we can loft between these two interpolated curves that we created. And so that's basically switching from a double phase sine curve to a single phase sine curve. And we can basically do whatever with whatever we want with this. We can change the phase any which way we want. We could increase the uh, the domain in which this function rests. We could do the same with this one. And we could uh, also change its phase as well. We'll just set that to 0 0.5. And there we go. That's an intro to 
expressions and as well as a look at sine functions and understanding radians and degrees.